Hey there, YouTube bassists. This is John from johnfoxbass.com, premium bass guitars. Coming to you today with another brand spanking new Dingwall hot off the presses. This is an ABZ four string tuned down to B E A D. And it's got the block inlays, as you can see on that Wenge fingerboard and some lumen lay side dots to see where you're going in the dark. And speaking of dark, uh, the back is painted solid black and the top is this gorgeous ceruse finish on the swamp ash body that you get with an ABZ. Um, this is an incredible job on this. Uh, it, looks, it looks like these pieces might, might even be book matched. I'm not sure. It's kind of close. Um, but uh, what a beautiful couple pieces of wood. And this ceruse finish is uh, magnificent with the white grain filler. Uh, and the black, trans black over that. So in case you didn't know how the ceruse finish is done, uh, the, the, the swamp ash is a very porous wood and the grain gets filled with this stuff called grain filler. It's kind of, it's kind of, it comes like a powder, almost like confectioner's sugar. It's very, very light, very fine powder. You mix it with water, smear it on there, and you uh, swipe over it with like a plastic, a hard plastic edge to get it to go into the grain and then uh, you let it dry, and then you sand it um, for a while. It takes a long time to get sand it down to bare wood, basically. Um, you know, the, the black part would be bare wood, but where the grain is, the grain filler is in there now. And, uh, and then you let it dry, you know, sand it, and then, re then wet it a little bit and add some more, repeat the process once or twice more. So it takes several days for this whole process to happen. Um, but when you're all done, uh, you know, sand it one last time and the grain is nice and, you know, filled in tight uh, with the filler, which in this case, the filler was dyed white. You can dye it different colors um, if you wish. And then, um, and then it's finished with a, a trans black finish in this case. So, um, and you can see that nice, uh, you know, line of delineation between the, uh, the black on the back and the, around the edge, um, and the ceruse finish on the top. So this, uh, you know, the solid black or solid finish is an option on the on the ding walls, on the customs. This base has got the FDV pickups, uh, which are the standard pickups for the domestic or Canadian built bases, uh, except for the Z3. Uh, newsflash: uh, the Z3 just switched over. The default pickup on the Z3 is now going to be the Super Fatty Twos, um, though you can still get the, uh, the other pickups if you wish, FD3 or uh, FDV or even P-Tone. Um, but uh, the default on the, on the Z model will be Super Fatty 2s. All the other Canadian built bases um, are getting the FDV pickups by default. Those pickups sort of have a, you know, an even kind of a flat, uh, Frequency response, not really flat, flat, but I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of what your ear expects from a typical bass. Um, I think the, uh, the emphasis uh, on the FD3s is more uh, mid-focused, and the FD, and the, uh, excuse me, the Super Fatty 2s are, have a very heavy bottom and also bright, zingy top. So naturally, maybe sort of mid-scooped a little bit. Um, but uh, they all have different, different, uh, you know, different natural tones to them, and of course you can EQ uh, to your heart's content with whatever you've got. Anyway, all the pickups sound great, all of them. Um, but uh, anyway, these are the FDVs, um, and the most important uh, feature for me that I love to have on these is the series parallel switches. They make such a huge difference in the tone. Uh, I'm going to actually demonstrate that for you. Um, play through each of the four pickup selector positions um, with the pickups in series and then in, in parallel. Well, and I'm going to do parallel first and then series and, and in that order. So you'll hear the, uh, the difference. You get kind of a mid boost when you go to series mode. And um, we'll, we'll hear that. And by the way, I'll, I'll do it in passive mode. We'll start with the, uh, the bridge pickup by itself and hear how that sounds. 
and there's no EQ here. This has a dark glass preamp in it, but uh, the preamp is now off. Pull the, pull the volume control out to turn the preamp off. So par parallel mode with the bridge pickup. Huge difference, right? All right, now um, we'll go to the uh, bridge and middle together. And again, big difference. And now the bridge and neck. And lastly, uh, the neck pickup by itself. So as you can see, um, those switches really do a heck of a lot. Um, even without a preamp, you still get uh, completely different tones available. And now let's engage the preamp and see what we've got. Just thought I'd hit that uh, Getty Lee pedal a little bit there. It sounds so cool. <laughs> I love how they, that pedal works with the Wenge neck uh, and these pickups. It's just a great, great combination. Uh, in case you weren't aware, you know, if you look inside these pickups, they're actually split coil pickups, just like a P bass. So you've got a coil under the bottom strings, another coil under the top strings, offset, and then um, those coils can be run either connected in series or in parallel and that's what the switches will do. If you don't have the switches then you got to choose if you want them in series or parallel and that's what you got whichever one. So parallel is kind of like a flat frequency response and series kind of gives you a mid boost as you could hear. So um, anyway this beautiful 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 bass is on its way out to a new uh, Dingwall artist Kello Gonzalez and um, check him out. He's incredible, an incredible player. And he's been playing Carl Thompson basses for quite a while, which are 
awesome basses, of course, as well. Um, and he even plays fretless. He plays a fretless six string. It's insane. Um, but uh, I'm so honored and delighted to be the channel through which he is getting his first dingwall. And uh, I cannot wait to see what kind of awesome stuff Kello does with this bass. I cannot wait. I really look forward to it. And um, you can get your custom dingwall at johnfoxbass.com. Premium bass guitars. Keep an eye out for Kello. And uh, thanks for watching. And have a great day.